Hey folks, welcome back to my garden. So today I'll share with you guys how uh, I plant a bare root rose where the other rose were there before. So let's get started. In this location, I did plant a Nicole rose in there in the previous season. And I already dug it up to see the space for my new rose in this season. I also took all the old soil out as much as I could. The size of the hole is about 14 inches by 14 inches and same numbers as the, the depth. And if uh, everything is ready, I'll put uh, a little bit uh, amendment at the bottom of the hole. So anything just like compost manure will be good uh, for this one. The next step is you need uh, a cardboard, um, just like this box. The size of the box have to be big enough to contain your bare root. The behind idea here is you want a new bare root uh, when planted down to be isolated uh, from the existing soil in the in the hole because uh, you don't want any existing disease virus from the previous rose which could be available in the old soil would be transplanted to your new rose and then when your new root planted in this box in first couple months the root will be gradually developing safely inside and separate with the the existing soil after that when the root is mature and reach to the outside of the box aka the box already composted at that time all the old disease and virus in the soil could be gone as well so the soil is clean now uh, let's put it into the hole to see the side of the hole is big enough for the box and i think it about right there Next step, I will try to place uh, my bare root rose uh, inside the box to see uh, how it goes. So this is my new bare root rose for this season. It's called Black Carbia. I will plant in this location and let's put it in to see if the box is large enough for its whole root. I think it's about right there. So I will fill back with all the old soil. So for the back fill soil, I will amend a little bit with compost in there and mix it evenly uh, rather than that i don't put any fertilizer at the time for my new plant so let's put the mist soil in the hole for now I just stop uh, filling the soil for a moment uh, to give the plant a good water to make sure uh, I limit all the air pockets as much as I can and after that I will keep filling up the soil and gently press down and tuck the soil into the root At the same time, I also fill the soil back from outside of the box as well. Very basic and simple from now on. Also make sure you tuck down and gently press for all the soil to be settled. And I will keep watering if I'm not sure 
there are any air pockets under the root. When the soil levels from both inside and the outside, the box are equal. I will be uh, top pressing with a good layer of compost until it's about right on the bud union. Alright, here is the result. So after mulching with uh, a good layer of compost, now we can go for the last step is to give your new plant a good deep drink so it is ready for the growing season please keep in mind you don't need to fertilize your bare root growth when you plant it at the time all you need is uh, to amend a little bit compost at the bottom of the hole and a good layer of top dressing from the top and after that I will wait for the new rose to break uh, the dormancy and grow the new leaves at least at the end of the spring so when the tide comes and it will grow a lot of leaves I will feed the plant a good dose of liquid fertilizer just like fish emulsion and seaweed then that's all good for the first season and for the second year you can go heavier fertilizer for the plant so this is it for this video thank you for your watching if you like please help me to subscribe to hit the first thousand subscribers it's uh, pretty much close for now i really appreciate it for your support all right i'll see you in the next video bye for now